Hi, my name is Nick DeLong, and I will be giving my oral report on my feasibility study regarding heroin use in Topton, Pennsylvania. In 2014, there were 26 heroin-related deaths in Berks County. Many of those deaths occurred in Topton, Pennsylvania. It has become a growing issue in the Topton community. The community has established a task force to help combat the heroin problem they are facing, termed the Brandywine Heights Area Community Task Force. The purpose of this speech is to determine whether or not it is feasible for the task force to handle the heroin problem present in Topton, PA. This speech will cover the problems the task force is currently facing, what the task force is doing in, to help the fight against heroin. Then a conclusion will be made on whether or not it is actually feasible for the task force to handle this problem and recommendations will follow after that conclusion is made. The task force is facing a few major problems in its fight against heroin. One of the main problems is the addictive nature of the drug. The task force itself does not have the medical capabilities to deal with a heroin user or a heroin overdose. Also, the community faces lack of awareness, education, and participation when it comes to the fight against heroin. The task force has implemented a three-step plan in order to fight heroin. The first step is education. The task force is attempting to build knowledge and awareness for prevention, intervention, and education regarding heroin use. They hold an events where they invite professionals such as Lehigh Valley Health Network and the Karen Foundation. They are free to the public and filled with knowledgeable information about heroin addiction and how to deal with a heroin addict. They also promote education systems within the community schools where they teach students the consequences of using heroin and also how to recognize a heroin user and how to properly report that. The second step is engagement, where the community task force is aiming to create positive, unifying community activities. To do this, the task force hosts town meetings, community events, and after-school events, along, among other things. The neighborhood activities have been their most successful, where they've had upwards of 600 members attend town meetings. In these meetings, they discuss future plans of action in order to combat the heroin problem they're facing. The last step of their plan is outreach. This is aimed at connecting and facilitating community partnerships. Their most successful partnership has been with Kaleo Incorporated. The community received a grant where Kaleo provided the Topton Volunteer Fire Company with Evizio in injectors containing a drug known as naloxone. This drug can reverse the effects of a heroin overdose. In conclusion, and after evaluating what the task force is currently doing to fight heroin, it has been determined that the task force is not capable of handling the, top, the Topton heroin problem by themselves. They are working on awareness and spreading education. However, they are seeing a lack of participation from within community regarding the fight against heroin. The partnerships they have facilitated are not substantial enough to deal with the amount of heroin overdoses and heroin related deaths they are seeing within the community. There is only so much that community volunteers can do. The task force should switch its aim to trying to lobby for some sort of federal grant and to help them fight heroin. There are grants available to small communities such as Topton's one of them is known as the Drug-Free Community Support Program. With the amount of deaths in Berks County doubling from 2013 to 2014, this is something that the task force needs to get under control now if they hope to have a clean future for Topton.